Our short visit to dead Moscow, the phantom of the past, is over. Pavel and I helped each other out again and are returning down to the metro as real partners now. You can't survive the wastelands any other way. But now ahead of us lies a populated station, the theater. It's very close to Polis. If Pavel manages to lead me through the red line guard posts, I'll be home in less than an hour. Okay, come on in. Sorry about that. Dangerous times, right? We're going up soon. Are there many watchmen around? We were lucky to get here. Okay, there's a nest in the building by the wrecked plane. Yeah, I wonder if it's such a bad dream today. Oh, you want a nightmare? Well, it's waiting for you up there. No sense going, we're just three men. To clear a nest, we need a couple squads at least. So what now? You're not going? We gather the men first. And we're waiting for the guys. On their way. Then give the beasts some hell. You cool. Come on in. It's my height. The new standards say I'm two centimeters short. What happens when they find us here? Storage campaign. A lot of people in the right are killed as the big In the meantime, why? How could this happen? Well, if you miss, they acknowledge you as a person. But and anyone deemed free? unnecessary is chased off Ugh, or harmed. This happens all the time. But why? Why to us? They keep raising the standards. Last time it was our neighbors. This time. So, it's that's us. our plan. The station Long next to this one is Revolution Square. One of ours. Red. And Revolution is spitting distance to Polis. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. There's plenty to see here, huh? I'll talk to my people and find you. Welcome. And have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Look, I don't make the rules, okay? Who does then? Is it so hard to either accept us or send us on our way? The higher-ups decide. We sent the message. Now, you must wait. What kind of message? It's an independent station. You're in charge here. Bullets to the last surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. So, young men, I see you like my witty sign. There is a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, poor siren, money changers, all are welcome here, even lousy the actors. Death and decay. That's exactly why we need theater. A drink and a show warms your body and soul. Without that, we may as well end it all. Feast. In the time of plague. So, when does our guest arrive? There is a really appetizing smell you have here, Simeon. Gotcha. Is it something new? Yeah! Show something we know! What happens with mushroom sauce? Eat didn't make it. Keep your hands up. How? Wow. That's a demon. a demon. So scary, just like the a real thing. A the demon. Look at, at the flap. Yeah. It's attacking. No, one no. The no. The that's just flaps. It's wings that just be taking off. And my dad saw lots of demons. We're right, and you, you left him there to die. No, Katya. So we get you sure. When do we become your father? No. Have you got enough money to last a week? A week. Two days, then my life is over. Dollar regular, dollar smoke, so well. Lord, oh, grenade! Oh, yeah. At least it's not serious. What? You give up already? Shit. We can still make it to Starkers, instead of mere eight. Look, I got money for three days. So drinks are on me. Throwing knives, silent and deadly. Grenade! 
A great pistol against mutants. Powerful and reliable. This is great stuff. The best you'll find. I don't know. It's prohibited. Maybe I'll just get a door. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. Maestro, if you'd be so kind. The can can. before. I feel sorry for the other performers now. Their attempts at impressing the audience might fall short after such a spectacle. But <laughs> I trust they will handle the race part of our expectations. And thus, our incredible show continues. This man spits in the eye of danger, challenges nature, defies the god of his new world, and proves once again that humanity is a master of all. A warm welcome for Leonid Burley, our animal trainer extraordinaire, with his uh, terror of our city. Even our station has heard the rumors of new species that were encountered at exhibition. Fearsome beasts, black as midnight, invincible, able to induce madness in anyone who saw them. But even those were no match for human ingenuity. 
The guys at exhibition had noticed they were brewing the wrong mushrooms. <laughs> when they went back to the traditional recipe, the new mutants were gone like morning dew. <laughs> Let us cheer for the heroes at exhibition! <laughs> and tonight's show goes on! It is time to bring a lyrical mood to our show. We give you the genius of chamber music, the famous accordion player, Kolya Pajarny, with his masterpiece, My Heart Reaches for the Sky, but hits the ceiling and falls down the bottom. A round of applause, please. will never sound the same. Your music is such a stream with so much power. And thus, our incredible show continues. Today, I have the honor of presenting to you the hottest, the most explosive act this side of Atlantic Ocean, the most scorching spectacle of today, our fire show. A round of applause to welcome the performers. Please, please. Blowing, incredible, simply incredible. If a tiny bit too hot, just a couple of degrees higher, and I'd be charmed. <laughs> Thank you, dear friends. Thank you. But I must say that however hot that was, the girls were a bit hotter still. <laughs> Guys, you've got to answer the challenge. Try using the flamethrower, perhaps. <laughs> And yet, we have more, dear audience. Please welcome the Arpeggio Virtuoso, the God of Legato, and Demon of Tremolo, the favorite student of Mel Bay and Vladimir Manilov, the premier guitarist of the New Age, Viktor Minchuk, with his fantasies. Please welcome our Virtuoso. <laughs> Thank you. 
this ecstasy and my heart would ignite, my legs would start dancing, and my soul would go straight to wherever it's heading to. Thank you, Victor. Ladies and gentlemen, I must announce a change in today's program. To our sincere regret, our visiting magician ran out of ladies for his sawmill act. <laughs> but never fear. We have filled the gap with greatness. Your complete attention, please, as I present the birth of a legend. The Minchuk and Pajarni duet with their instrumental impromptu, The Song of Songs. A round of applause to cheer our great musicians on. <laughs> innovation of the century. Incredible. Completely incredible. My left ear is still ringing. <laughs> You've just heard the virtuosos of the Mosca underground. The duo known as Minchuk and Pozarni. <coughs> Our dear audience. This sad moment always come, no matter how often we wish it would not. But our show for today is over. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have enjoyed your company. Thank you, and please come again. Maestro, give us something emotional. Goodbye. Farewell. Parting is such sweet. Artyom, no? Enjoy the show? Sorry, man. Time to move on, you patron of the art. Oh, Pavel Igorvich. So glad to see you. Where have you been? You don't like us anymore? Hell no, Sto. I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Yeah, teach you to go. Jana, let me use your powder. In your dreams, you have your own. Use that. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something better? Her boyfriend is cheap, that's why. Artyom? No, Artyom? Looks like you're money. a bit woman hungry, huh? Well, yes, yes, it's a hard life without a soft one. Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are, two of our specials from the old stock, been infusing it for half a year. Opa, that's great! So, let's drink, Artyom! Smooth stuff, huh? And this is a good place, but uh, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro and people talk all kinds of shit about the red line. That it's awful there, there's no food, that we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Wow, so... <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but we have order, and everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter, no rich men, true, but no beggars either. Another drink! And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 pay that now. Ooh, 
Ah, uh, where was I? Ah, uh, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. They freaking eat each other, sell their kids as slaves. It's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? War there, war there is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Блин. Кого? Артём, кого? Вот он за. Вот он за. So, my friend. That's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artём. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private. Take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back, comrade Major. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. And we'll get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Move it! Hey, stop that, bleh! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. We, the people of the red line, have worked Good day, sir. And Good day, sir. At ease, Tavarish. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Here? What about Comrade Korb? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Move it! Artyom, you're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you. Information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cooperate. Okay? But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us. Let's go. Good day, Comrade General! Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence! Lesnitsky, or one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the... Comrade to the negotiation room. Young man, let's dispense with the introductory probing and cut the chase. Hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. <laughs> but, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Leonium must start learning how to improve his, uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, viewer. Ah, 
Put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! Huh? Oh. Fuck! Still nothing, huh? <laughs> Take that, bitch! You talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords, code names, operation protocols. What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonia. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No. You little shit. There's no power without blood. There is. Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him. Get back here! You're a thug. God damn it! Would you? All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers. Just get everything out of him and shoot the bastards. And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here. You may be my son. Oh, I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. And Morozov, and the revolution, and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother. Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here, get in there! This is the way to freedom. Believe me, I know. Well, good luck to you! Sit down, Corbin. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans. The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right?! I'm... Moscovin. When you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, 
I bucked your takeover, so I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. For it's every man for himself. But, Gorbut, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the police bureau. Cuts. One of these days. A frontal assault is hopeless. But if we go underground in the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned ducts? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck, then. Surrender! Line! Long line! line! Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesniski bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target. yourself. I'll go stand there around the corner. Kiss your pants already? <laughs> then watch a real man. Well, if you're a real man, why are your hands shaking? Hands don't mean shit. The important thing is nothing else shakes. Okay. Composed. Composed. Oh, the red wire. The red wire. Come on. Don't rush me. 
How long is it gonna take? Almost there. Scared, huh? Get off my face. Let me think. Well, I see this is taking forever. So I'll go take a walk in the meantime. your minds already. First you order a patrol, then you expect me to sit here. Second pole. Come in. Second pole. What the hell? What am I supposed to do? Split in two? Second post here. Second pole. Report your situation. Reporting. Group 8 left the facility using Tunnel 2. Roger that, second floor. Carry on. Talking about the refugees? What refugees? Let the special department handle them. I'm talking real rats, tails and all. They'd multiply like crazy. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah! 
Oh, then you, you let a bastard keep the new weapon. Now you're gonna get some. Now, Power Counter, the Quartermaster won't give me anything or sign any papers unless you are present. To hell with papers! Tell him does not replace your weapon tonight. You're both going to the hole. Orders to assign you all some tasks. Only the <laughs> What happened, Andre? Construction's in a crunch mode. They're short on hand, so they're putting us on this. Huh. Attention all personnel. What the hell did they want? Probably the usual shit about safety precautions. As if we didn't sign in the book. We did, so what good is that? One asshole got run over by a train last week. No, he lost an eye when a cable broke. That was last month. I'm talking last week. Oh, now I understand why they're going on about safety like that. That's my life. Who's gonna work if everyone is out of commission? Well, yes. Uh, I wish they'd fix that down radio or something. Makes me uneasy, you know? to the hospital. Mark my words. It's the only thing that kept me alive. But what the hell happened? 
Why? You don't know about the bridge? Sure, I know the place. I served there for a short time. Well, last year there was one hell of an incident. The guys said that when they came to relieve the watch, all of the sentries on our side of the bridge were dead. So the lieutenant sent some scouts to the Nazi post on the other end. They returned and said it was the same shit there. Their boots were stained red. Like they'd been through a river of blood. Who could have killed so many men? Whatever it was, it wasn't human. Might have been a creature some called the Dark Rail Tracer. One of the guys supposedly made him mad by taking a nut off on a rail junction. That's ridiculous. If it wasn't the rail tracer, the story is even crazier. Must have been a Hanzar police task force. How could a task force that size get there undetected? Now, one guy that's possible. I heard of a traitor who smuggled a spy of some kind to the front line through the smithy in a rail car undercarriage. But 30 guys? Nah, that's too complex. We'll never know. But somehow, it happened. They tripled the guards at the bridge since then. Which reminds me, you should take a walk around the barracks, so that nobody sneaks up on us here. Okay, I will. Got nothing better to do anyway. Thank <laughs> you. 
fucking grass. Shut up, it's our job. Just be happy they don't make it like this crap yourself. No. Would you be more for this to me? Well, that was the last one. Great. I don't think you'll smoke it. Don't take too long. You know what happens to those who fail to turn up at roll call? Yeah, 
I'm ready. Okay, let's handle this one. Heat exchange of temperature. Normal. Catalyst stay. Standard. Methanol output at the separator. A okay. Synthesis gas pressure. Okay, ладно. Compressor speed. Nominal. Flow rate. All right. Great, got that. To the third. Me. 
Why not burn those whips? We do that all the time. In a couple of weeks, the damn beast of everything covered that shit again. Damn it. It's sure are a lot of trouble. Maybe we should just weld the gate shut and be done with it. Then we'll have to get to Venice fast. How will we go there? Take a train to Hansa territory? Forget it. The only way is to keep that damn watch there. down, or your brain goes splat. Wait a minute. Artyom, is it you?